What's up people Manor here coming to you with a video this time we are going to be unpacking and assembling a DTOF tower from IKEA. This is the product number 802-69122. Keep in mind when you pick up the item or when you order the item it actually does come along with two containers. If you're at the IKEA store please make sure to pick up both of them. If you only get one you will get charged for the second one if you only get one it is not going to be possible to complete it this is the product upc code and these are the dimensions another quick point that this is 43 pounds or 20 kgs for one box 37 pounds or 17 kgs for the second box uh, the color that i'm selecting right now is white they also have dark brown slash black on it. Uh, while this item is sold by IKEA, the product is made in Turkey. Without further delay, let's get the unboxing started. I will be unboxing box number one and then moving on to box number two. And also, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you like IKEA items, don't mind my dog. I've also unboxed other IKEA items. Uh, those have been very helpful. Uh, the reason why I do unboxings and assembly is uh, people do find it helpful sometimes following the instructions uh, that are listed on the box can be rather challenging i understand that uh, i've been there myself so hopefully this video helps if it does please give this video a big thumbs up so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to open the box it's always a general good idea to go from the side and just open it up And what I like to do is I like to take the blade on the outer edge and then go through it. And this is a rather dull blade, so don't worry about me touching it and cutting my hand. Just score the box. Score it again. Three times as a charm. And then... Just open it up that way you're minimizing any potential damage to any surfaces inside and do it on a flat surface that way you have plenty of uh, room to move around and now the final angle and voila just like that we have the entire item uh, unboxed by the looks of it uh, there are 22 steps uh, or 22 pages so and this is the item uh, they do include of course the instructions uh, all the warnings that you can possibly read multiple pages of them and according to the handy ikea guide you do need a screwdriver uh, you do need two people by the looks of it and they do prefer that you use a rug so you don't crack the dang furniture and they do suggest that you call ikea in case you get stuck Hopefully we don't have to do that. As far as the rug guide option is concerned, well, I'm just going to use the box. Uh, that's the whole reason why I fillet the box like this. That way it opens up, allows me to have a smooth, softer surface. The item already came in the box. So I'm actually thinking that it is not going to get damaged or anything. And these are all the screws that are included in this, along with the item brackets and everything else. Step one and step two is open up the box. So there are two boxes that they are specifying as I stated before. So let's get this uh, started. In this pamphlet they are providing the cleaning instructions of uh, the item. Wipe with a clean cloth, dampen with a mild cleanser. So don't use anything harsh, uh, don't use direct bleach on it basically. And this is a main base that we are using. Uh, this is the top part of the base. Uh, so this is where the glass is going to rest. Uh, this is the bottom part. Uh, this is where the pegs are going to go and these do have pre-drilled holes which is great so this goes right here i think this is the bottom part and according to the first step we need to take the tool connect it and push this through and they do have a lot of uh, these cardboard items uh, that are sealed they don't have anything in it it's just a spacer and the tools and everything else are already included uh, ikea does that so let's open that up and everything is pre-packed for you so uh, put that on to the side don't open them at the same time the first thing that we need to do is we need to take this bag the one with the metal grommets in it and push this in 
and turn it counterclockwise and connect it to the pipes. So four pipes that we need to connect on the top. And these are not the thing that we're using initially. So we're going to put that onto the side. And just a quick note, the second box that was there, the box number two, that has the metallic legs that we need to connect. So these metallic ladder thing that is there, uh, they were in the box number two that I just opened up. I don't know why IKEA didn't include them in box number one, because that's the first step. And this will be a good time to re-evaluate and re-verify that you did get the second box. Because if you, if you are missing that ladder, well, guess what? You didn't pick up the box. So let's continue. And this is the letter that I was talking about. Take it out of the plastic bag and recycle the plastics uh, in a responsible manner. Keep it away from kids and dogs. You know the drill. And the way that you want the letter to go is you want the notch to be facing inwards. So when you put this, the notch needs to be inside. It should not be on the outside because this is where the glass is going to rest. And as far as what holes should the ladder get connected to, it's going to go on either of them. So one and one, one and one. No, no ladder is going to be getting connected over here. Uh, this is the back end of the glass. This doesn't need to go this way. This only needs to go this way. And looking at the length of it, you will see that it will. this is the only area it's going to go in. And again, use the cardboard that is provided to you as a base that way you're not uh, damaging or scratching it so and this stands on its own put it on the ground now we get the metallic part now we get these things and the wrench and just plug it in one goes there one goes there and the other one goes there and if you're doing it solo use the chair to support <laughs> the dang thing so it's easier so again we just put it in here and keep in mind initially when you put it uh, make sure not to tighten it too much and it will go all the way through uh, so if it actually is just sticking through it don't worry about it uh, the nut that we are giving is going to put it to an end so just feed it through initially hand tighten it and that way you can tighten it uh, with uh, the ang angle wrench that they gave you so initially i fed that through now take the wrench thingy lefty loosey righty tighty that's done same thing for the other one that's done now i just inverted this thing uh, now we're going to do the same thing with the other ladder assembly and again keep in mind uh, the grooves have to be going the other way uh, putting this on the chair again and feeding this through careful not to damage anything and just feed the dang thing through that thing has fed through i'm just gonna screw it in that one is done screw the other part through that one is done and just tighten it at this point and keep in mind we have four of these items because uh, the other one is going to go on the top so we have gone through step number one connecting the letter we have gone through step number two connecting the other side of the letter also step number three is using a phillips head screwdriver which unfortunately ikea did not provide uh, we are going to be connecting we are going to be connecting these gray brackets that go on the bottom and to connect this, uh, we're going to be using the four long screws. Uh, do not discard any of these spacers. They are also going to be used uh, later on. And just a simple operation, just feed this through and just connect it. And just this screw is going to go right through this uh, wood hole that is there. Just line it up and just tighten it. And to speed up the process, I'm actually going to be using uh, my uh, drill uh, I picked up from a uh, Amazon really cheap uh, and this does not add too much torque power so I'm not going to overstrip it so and the way that you know it's actually not it's tight enough is when this thing stops moving and there's a little bit of play that needs to stop and that's it is done let me do the same thing for the other one And this one, the other one, I'm just going to connect it on the bottom. And then the last one. All right, now that I have uh, put this on the ground, uh, the careful operation part of putting the glass on the top uh, which is included in box number one is going to take place we need to put a glass on the top connect it onto the grooves in the middle once that is done 
the next item that needs to happen is the plastic L bracket that is there. Uh, there are two L brackets that are there. Uh, the longer side, the side that is a longer uh, part. This is a shorter one. This is a longer one. The longer side needs to be on the outside to keep that in mind. Again, similar to this image, the longer side needs to be outwards. So please do be very careful when you do this. Please do keep in mind that the longer side needs to be put in uh, towards uh, the other side. So this thing, the groove, this thing is going to be on the back. This thing is going to be facing outwards. Uh, it should not be the other way around. It should not be like the other way around. It needs to be like this. I'm just going to put it against the wall. That way the back, that way the glass doesn't have too much of a place uh, to tip over. Uh, and be very careful. Uh, these are heavy duty glasses and you want the two longer panes to do. Uh, the bigger wider pane, that's not the one that we want to use. We only want to use the two longer panes, uh, the small panes we are not using. And again, keep in mind that the two longer panes are the ones that are going on the side. And again, keep the uh, width of the pane in mind. The bigger, longer pane is going to go this way because this is the longest part. The two other shorter panes, uh, they are going to be going on the side. So let's get this going very carefully, of course. If you're not comfortable doing this alone, uh, get a friend or a family member or use the surroundings around you to help you through it. And the pane we're going to be using is pane number one that has a big one on it. Fortunately, the sticker can easily come off. So I'll take the sticker off after I put this in. I'm not going to take it off right now. So we'll put this in and then we'll take it off. And uh, be mindful of uh, the area. Do not allow it to bang because this will crack. All right, the first glass is in. I had to make sure the bottom part was aligned completely. Uh, now I need to put the second, the two of the panes, uh, the one that are number two on either side. And keep in mind the top part is going to be a little bit lower than the glass, which is normal because we are also going to be putting the other piece on top. And pro tip, uh, box number two is going to have the side panes, uh, the ones that are going to go on the side. Uh, box number one is going to have the door that goes in the front. So again, box number two is going to have the two left and right uh, glass panes that go. So keep that in mind. All right, pro tip, when you're connecting this second glass, put it on the bottom first and then slide it through. Uh, so put this part at the bottom and then start pushing it through. And this is what I mean. When you're putting this glass in, connect it on the bottom part first at a very sharp angle. Do not let go of the glass. Slide it in to the groove very carefully. Once you slide it into the groove, which is this part right here. Start pushing it slowly. And at that point, start pushing the glass from the bottom. From the bottom, push, push, push. What you're doing is, in actuality, you're pushing the back mirror. What you're doing in actuality, you're, just putting, you're pushing the back glass pane to complete the seal on the bottom. And I'm using a chair for this part. Now that that is done, we can put the uh, top wooden part on top. And the hole that is there on the top needs to be on the back end. Keep that in mind. The hole needs to be on the back end. All right, now I have put the top part on. Uh, as you can see, uh, the grooves do align and they do hold the glass in. Uh, this is now sturdy enough that I don't have to worry about it. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take these four nuts and feed them through and tighten it on the top. Now that uh, this part is done, we need to connect the door. And the door can be connected either opening to the left or the right. Uh, this one I'm going to connect towards opening towards the right hand side. So for that, we need to put the plastic pegs in. We need to connect this and we need to get this going. And by the looks of it, this one connects uh, using uh, double sided tape. I hope it's really strong. Now the true test is how to find which item to go where. Uh, when we look at the entire product assembly, fortunately they do have everything already pre-packed. So these ground bits uh, are going to be, these plastic uh, things are going to be going with these two parts. So we know that for sure. Uh, this is a door latch assembly. So this is going to be allowing us to open the doors like so. And this is a part that actually goes on the top to secure the cabinet that way it doesn't tip over and fall. 
so very important uh, this goes at the very end extremely important please do not please do not think that this doesn't need to be connected this must be connected for your safety and these plastic holders uh, the one that I have a split in the middle they are the one that are used for the glass panes uh, that way they do the glass pane doesn't sit directly on top of the metal and cause uh, binding so this we're going to use later on now because we're going to be opening it left to right we are going to be putting these brackets over here uh, and this entire assembly goes along with the entire set so you don't have to worry about the other uh, parts that were provided so this just goes right here just snits right in it is pretty loose don't worry about it and this goes on the top and these screws uh, you should be loosening them up that way the glass can just slide in so this will be loose like so and we can put this one right here uh, the reason why I want to do it this way is that way I can slide the glass through of course I'm going to be connecting the other screw part on the top because that one needs to be that one is not going to be going that one is going to fall if I put it on top and this was the top part and don't disregard these these are also necessary and to connect it we need to first put we need to first peel this part off and we need to put it at the very edge that way this thing goes right on top and that way it can uh, seal it because you don't want the sharp pins to go in and touch the glass that way they can potentially break the glass and this is also listed in the instruction manual uh, we are on step 11 we are getting very close we're gonna be getting it done hang in there with me so again we took a screwdriver and this time i'm not going to use a power screwdriver i'm going to just use a small little screwdriver to get that done put that very carefully line it up square and this thing has a very strong adhesive so once you put it it's done uh, open the screws up and now we can put it over here just lift it very carefully we don't want to damage it push it down and then tighten it hand tighten it we're not tightening it to, to the point of like you know any torque or anything we're not doing that so we're going to be putting the same thing on we're going to put the other part which is this thing on the other side and i'm using the rounded edges uh, to put downwards that way this is going to be completely flat so we're going to be putting it on the other side and then we're going to be hanging it so hang in there with me one more thing uh, they also include this uh, handy dandy guide uh, that is supposed to be putting uh, on the side of the mirror that way it doesn't uh, break so we're going to be using it temporarily then it's going to be discarded this allows us this allows us enough uh, room for spacing because it has a little bit of bulge on the bottom and it allows it to be pos positioning it properly and that i've connected on the bottom on this side uh, again uh, that thing is going to be going on the bottom this thing is going to be uh, going over here and the screws i'm going to be putting inverted or inside that way it's not visible all right so quick pro tip make sure to loosen the top screws up these ones a little bit initially initially to get the glass to line in because this was a little bit difficult this was a little bit difficult to get in in addition to that i also connected the magnetic pole thingies they just push right in there is no screw holding and they're pretty snug uh, you can feel them one goes on top the other goes on the bottom now that that is done the final part of the assembly process is to connect the door handles uh, which are right here uh, one on the bottom one on the top and one of the final parts of the assembly process is to connect the magnetic holder and uh, keep the orientation in mind uh, you're not connecting it long ways you're connecting it on the top so this should have a top shelf like that you don't want it to be you don't want it to be looking like this you want it to look uh, like this so top shelf that we can hold the groove and open it up and to secure it in place they have provided double-sided uh, groove thing that just goes in that just remove you just remove the tape thingy and that connects to the mirror and then you connect the then then you put then you make it like a sandwich and just push it through so right here this is going to go on the very bottom i'm going to leave just uh, about a quarter of a centimeter uh, off so to do this very complicated operation just unplug or unscrew the entire glue and you don't need to cut this by the way and very carefully put this on the bottom and when i said carefully like extremely carefully push it through and then this is going to be a little bit snug and got it 
all right this is in just push it that way it doesn't go anywhere and we're going to do the same thing for the top and then it'll be ready and to connect the top part again the same thing take this plastic uh, the foam part off put it inside here and then just plug it in and yes that is my chair that i unassembled or deassembled or you know i made the assembly video of it check the video description for the details too all right so everything is done the only thing left is to remove the paper let's see if you can do it in the single swoop all right almost at the edge oh yeah look at that sweeping action and just like that it is done now all you have to do is put the mirror on top and this cabinet is going to be ready so let me do that and let me show you the final result and this is the final result people this is all done this is all taken care of uh, really enjoyable process you can use it for plants like I'm planning to uh, this is right next to my temple you can use it for uh, plants if you want to uh, get them grow likes to get them connected if you have any questions or concern about this video feel free to leave them in the comment section below uh, check out my other IKEA merch assembly video and also thank you again so much for watching like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys and girls on the next video take care people bye e